president-elect named yesterday the nominees for the Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs Minister and Employment and Labour Minister, completing the incoming government's first cabinet. He claims to have looked at their capabilities and expertise, yet he failed to keep his promise of nominating ministers in their 30s. Former Rural Development Administration Chief Tonangan, a former official under the Pakane administration, was picked as the Agriculture Minister. The president-elect picked former Secretary General of the Korea Labor and Employment Service, Lee Jong-sik, as Labor Minister. He had worked for the Federation of Korean Trade Unions for more than 20 years. With that, Yoon's cabinet appointments were completed 36 days after the presidential election. He claims to have picked them solely based on their capabilities and expertise. Here's an overview of the 19 nominees, prime minister and 18 ministers. By hometown, the Yongnam region produced the most number of nominees with seven, followed by four each from Seoul and the Chungcheong area. No one from Gwangju or the Jeollanamdo province was tapped. There are only three female nominees. Looking at alma maters, 10 nominees graduated from Seoul National University and four from Korea University. Out of those 10 SNU graduates, Han Dong-hun, Lee Sang-min, Won Il-yong, Park Jin, and Kwon Young-se attended SNU Law School, the same as the president-elect. The nominee's average age is 60.6, with Han dok su being the oldest at 73 and Han Dong-hun the youngest at 49. More than half of the nominees are men in their 60s who graduated from Seoul National University. Contrary to Yoon's promise, there were no minister appointments from those in their 30s. 30대 장관 한 명이 아니고 제가 볼 때는 한두 명이 아니라 아마 많이 나올 것으로 생각합니다. Meanwhile, not a single person from the Presidential Transition Committee Chair Antersu's party was included in the nominee pool.